I'm gonna be like, I'm back. <laughs> Q and A, y'all. Um, I really hope you like the movie again. Uh, thank you so much for being here on a Saturday night, and I'm happy to at least attempt to answer any questions. Yes. Oh my god, thank you so much. Do you want to write every review of this movie? <laughs> totally cool if you do. Uh, his writing is so dense mm -hmm. and it's so difficult to get through. How did you approach creating the narrative? We have so many different pieces and, and all these end notes and footnotes and comments and, and how did you how did you come to that? Um, well again, I, I only use the interviews, so they didn't have footnotes and stuff like that. Um, the short stories in the book, by the way, are amazing. Go out and get it. Um, yay, Little Brown. Um, publishing, publishing joke. It's not my best. Um, but uh, it, it's an incredibly, it's like I was saying, um, I think I said it before, which was like editing it down was incredibly scary because you're basically cutting out words that he wrote. So it's like, I will cut this interview in half. And then, you know, the interview that I did at the end is two thirds smaller than what it is in the book, or if not more. And it's incredibly scary. I think my whole thing, and I hope I achieved it, was I wanted to not shy away at all from the literary sense of what he was doing. So I really didn't care if people were like, this, this isn't necessarily how I speak. And I was like, but that's what the book was about. And that's why I'm making this movie and not a movie about two dudes who wake up drunk one night. And uh, <laughs> I'm working on it. It's going to be really good. Stay tuned. <laughs> Um, but, uh, so I, I just wanted to basically not shy away from it, but at the same time, the interviews themselves aren't nearly as dense as some of his other sort of obser um, observant type of observant, like uh, his observation stuff. It's, uh, so it was a little easier than that, but definitely like they can kind of spiral, especially the one I did at the end, which was terrifying, and I'll tell you that story if anybody asks. Um, but yes, that's how I, that's how I did it. Yeah. Thank you for standing up. <laughs> and posing. You did one of these. <laughs> Great. We're all friends here. How did it go from you like reading this book? What made you decide, hey, I should make a movie out of this? Right. Like, how, how did that go for you? Um, I think I mentioned in the beginning, and maybe if I didn't, it's called Ignorance. Uh, I started writing the script before I had the rights. And then my manager was like, you want to go get the rights? And I was like, what? Um, and so I was like, wait, I can just make a movie about anything, right? And no, that's not what happened. So, uh, but that is actually what happened. And then we went into this rights turmoil that it was tough. But um, believe it or not, we, we did a stage reading of it in college. And I was extremely excited because at the time I was just acting to be uh, part of a really cool group of people. Yes. And then when I heard that they were doing the stage reading, I was extremely, all of a sudden, like, extremely interested in being a part of it, even though, like, I had played, like, dude number 17 in plays. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't like, the big dog in the theater group. Um, and so I really, really wanted to do this, and, and I got asked to do it, and I actually did Chris Maloney's part, which obviously he did better than I did. Um, but it was really exciting because we rehearsed it on our own each of the scenes, and then just one night we put all the uh, interviews together. And in putting them all together, I remember being really excited because in my particular scene, I remember thinking it was some of the best acting material I had ever read. I think for actors, it's very difficult to be given an interview or a monologue or anything that has uh, a, an actual arc, like three parts, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it's so well done in his material. But then when you see them all together, um, Without being overly sentimental, it was the moment that I decided I wanted to be an actor. Like, actually in that room, I remember exactly what it felt like and seeing some people be really uh, emotional about what we were doing.